to you by Sprint. Good to have you here. This is 2K Sports, and the NBA season is starting to take shape. For the Philadelphia 76ers, they have the lead against Minnesota. No doubt a tough team to deal with, the best record in the conference. They're for real. On the Timberwolves' side of things, they're managing to hang around. Their three-point shooting has been nowhere to be found. It's really hurt them offensively. That's why they're behind. And now let's go around the NBA to check out what's happening. In New York, the Knicks are trailing to Utah. Fourth quarter, they're down eight. Need to make a run. And the other game also going on still. Sacramento in a close one against Detroit. Into the second half, and it's a close one. A one-point difference. And that'll be our report. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you next time. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And welcome back as we see the bronze statue of William Penn atop the Philadelphia City Hall. Rubio with it. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. We've got Mike Scott. He's out there with Green, and it's Simmons into the point. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Inside, Scott. Simmons passes to Green. Simmons dishes to Scott. This is his first free throw of the game. Well, of course, we'd all like to see that free throw percentage improve. Does not have the touch in the 60s. Guys, he is close to where he was last year in that category, but um, his numbers are still down just to skosh. Rubio outside. Six on the shot clock. Hernan Gomez defended by Scott. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Six points for him. The 76ers leading by 11. And Simmons kicks to Green. The dish now to Simmons. To the inside. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. For Philadelphia, they have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. It seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And it's just been that kind of a day. Second half just getting started. About a minute play. Timberwolves trail by 13. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Here's Rubio. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. The Timberwolves get their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Rubio. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this, is, this has been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. The drive by Green feeds to Simmons. Just four to shoot. And cut it from 19 feet away. Simmons got 11 points. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean... You just don't know how to play. Timberwolves trail by 13. Now, here's Rubio. Averaging nine points per contest. Edwards. And the shot is wrong. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area on the glass that's played a big role in this game. And they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. Scott kicks to Curry. The kick out to Scott. On the clock. And a miss there on the triple. You know, even against defense as tight as that, you expect him to bury those. I don't know. I mean, we've seen him hit those in the past, but like you said, the defender was on him like Lou. It would have been quite a bucket. He has not been on his game. You know, the deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. Minnesota calls timeout. Oh, you know, all coaches 
peak defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That that's inexcusable. So that, that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside, and that's why the coach called timeout. They were not winning the battle inside. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for the 76ers. Perfect inbounds pass and an easy two points. That's good. Howard's got his second bucket tonight. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. Rubio outside. Kept alive, Minnesota. Blocked. Read the pass to Edwards. Timberwolves passing it around. No good on the triple. He's not exactly striking them from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bagels in the second. It's Curry outside. Shot no good. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Read the pass to Edwards. Reed is guarded by Howard. The shot's good from Reed. He's got six. The 76ers leading by 13. Here's Simmons. He's got 11. Outside, Scott. He dishes it to Howard. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Well, he's an undersized center, but he more than makes up for it with some serious leaping ability. Timberwolves trail by 15. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Here's Rubio. Good on the three-point shot. Rubio's got five points now in the quarter. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. And Philadelphia calls time here. Well, he looks like he wants to play around with some of his sets and matchups here. You know, I don't think you can afford to go through a whole game doing the same thing over and over. And you have to be able to adjust on the fly, just like he's doing here. Simmons dishes to Howard. So nice to have a guy like that who can take charge at any time. Yeah, so many of his passes, Steve, have led directly to baskets. Here is McLaughlin. He's got nine. Hernan Gomez passes it to a Corian. Off the mark there with a three-point shot. Well, an eight-rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Curry kicks to Scott. Outside, Green. Out three off the mark. Well, his shot's been off today, no question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to keep this lead where it is. He's given them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. And Simmons kicks to Curry. Dishes to Simmons. Pass to Howard. Lays it up and banks it in. Howard's got 10 points in the game. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. Hernan Gomez defended by Scott. Davis the pass to McLaughlin. That's in there. Davis with the assist. 12 points for him. Back-to-back -back threes for him. The defense is slacking off a little. It does look like their energy is lacking at this point. The 76ers leading by 13. Here's Simmons. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Pass to McLaughlin. A corner. There's the triple. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got three rebounds so far in the game. Here's Simmons, and the shot is good. Simmons got six in the quarter. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Here's Beasley, and you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Simmons. 
I gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. And that's helped with their passing game, too, because they're getting a lot of assists by sharing the ball and moving it. They've done a lot of good work with the ball. Really moving both the, the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get it. I mean, they're hitting their shot. Hope they get it back. McLaughlin against Hill. Here's Davis. Power with the block. Number 30. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Shooting for Philadelphia. And uh, we've watched a pretty interesting season unfolding in the Western Conference, guys. Let's check out the standings here. Look at Utah. And not a surprise, really, to see them sitting there in that number one spot in the conference. The excellent brand of basketball that they're putting on his play lately has been terrific. Of course, there's the Timberwolves. They're much further down in the standings right now. You know, I think for the Timberwolves, they found themselves in the playoff picture here in the early goal. This is not something most people expected, but here they are making noise. They're showing signs of life this season, Clark, and after a tough season a year ago, some definite optimism. The question is, just how good can this team become? Here's a coin. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. He has six. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. Shot and game clock separated by five. Zero. Good. The assist goes to Hill. And the 76ers lead by 16. Temporal shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Koyan, the pass to Noel. And there's the pass to a Koyan. One second left. Can't get it to fall. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit. Tune in this Friday night, January 8th. The Dallas Mavericks go up against the San Antonio Spurs. Don't miss out. Welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. The 76ers leading by 16. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. They've got Noel. And it's Beasley in a shooting guard. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. No good on the three. Timberwolves trailed by 14. The feet to Noel. Gets an open look and hits. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Moment to see how the schedule is looking for Philadelphia. It's game one of a three-game road trip. The first free throw is good. And the two balls are going to change here. And so he hits one. Well, they've really improved at the line from the first half. Things have gotten a lot better. They've gotten there a good number of times, and they've converted a high percentage of them. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Koy in the pass to Noel. A coy. Pass to Reed. Working on Howard. Lock at six. He kicks to Noel. Here's McDaniel. Here's Reed. And uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. Jones checked in for the 76ers. The free throw off from Reed. The 76ers leading by 12. Outside, Jones. Number 22. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 
Tibbles have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Pass to McDaniel. Shoots the three. Good. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. Zero. Another three for Philadelphia. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. It's three of the last five makes uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the Timberwolves head coach talking to his team. He is not pleased with the score and implored them to try to make a push right now, saying, we don't have time, fellas. If we can't make a dent soon, I'll have to pull the plug. Pretty blunt, Kevin. Back to you. In a moment now to check out who Minnesota has coming up. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. Start a three-game homestand with that game. Well, you know the fans out in Toronto are really hoping for a win for their Raptors. Ricky Rubio checked in for Noah. Both good from the line that time. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. And it's Rubio penetrating. Well played. Now you pass into the layup. Looky here, looky here. How about that one? That play. Take that play and put it in the alley oop textbook for future reference. Perfectly done. You put it on a platter for him. You sure did. And how about the touch on the finish, too? That was really nicely done. Kicks to Hill. Fires the three. The shot is off. And Minnesota will come the other way. Beasley right side. No good. Excellent D that time from Jones. Zero. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Shooting for Philadelphia. Zero. First free throw is good. Two shots. Good on both. You really have to like their efficiency at the foul line. I mean, they're knocking down 91, 92% of their free throws overall. That's a very healthy and positive number. Up again. Leans up the mess with the savage put back flush. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. On the wing hill. There's one for three. Rebound, Minnesota. Oh, here we go. Rubio's got him in the fast break chance. Hernan Gomez. Back to Rubio. No good with the triple. Zero. Defended by Akoyan. Zero. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, it looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finisher. You know, something else I think about when I see this guy is he's a real headache to have to defend one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's got all of the game that makes it tough for his defender. Rubio can't get that one to fall. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. The pass to Reed. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. I wasn't so sure he could get it turned around after that poor first half, but uh, he's got it rolling here a little bit in the second. Looking to get back on track here. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Here's Howard. Some solid defense from Reed. Had a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. Number 10. No good from outside. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Green dishes to Simmons. 
Howard with the screen on beast. He feeds it to Curry. He passes to Simmons. Just five to shoot. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a game tending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Timberwolves trailed by 13. Number 10. Scott pulls it in. Scott's got seven rebounds in the game. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. A finger roll finish at the bucket. The 76ers leading by 11. Here's Simmons. On the wing, Scott. That one wide left. Minnesota's got a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. Fires for three. And good on the basket. Look at his shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. And the basket by Rubio. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Edwards, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. The 76ers shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. And Simmons gets the stop. That's good from 17 feet away. And the 76ers lead by eight. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas. He's range, though. One fifty-seven left in the game. Hernan Gomez defended by Scott. Passes it to Edwards. Expanding his range. Can't get it to go. And Philadelphia the other way now. Down low. And good. It's blocked by Reed. Oh, here we go. Rubio's got him in a fast break chance. And it's blocked by Scott. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Scott lets it go from deep. Scott missing again. Timberwolves trail by eight. Edwards passes to Rubio. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Here's Simmons. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Terrific job taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. A lot of positive energy in the building. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. It's going to take something special, maybe a miracle, for them to come back right now. How about a little luck? Boy, that was a massive sequence of events there. Absolutely clutch defense to trigger the break. And we've seen games decided on plays caught just like that. Yeah. Effort and hustle plays often are big plays for a team. Yeah, what a time to blow up a play and then turn it into a slam at the other end. Every point they get now puts them one step closer to the W. If they're not there already, Steve, just a tremendous all-around game of basketball they play. At the line for your 76ers. That's good from Simmons. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. The Timberwolves shooting has been just great in the fourth quarter, 54%. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. You're exactly right. I mean, take care of the ball, work the clock. It's a wrap. Yep, nice game. Green, no luck. Boy, he's got a nice-looking stroke. That almost went in. Yeah, a lot of times, he'll hit that shot regardless of the defense. Didn't matter that he was surrounded. He was the guy who muscled everybody else out of the way to get that board. Scott can't get it to go. Edwards with it. Number 10. A three-pointer, no good. Here's Simmons. So Philadelphia wins it. 